Well, the thing that is interesting about him is because he is local, which means, of course, he lives in the escarpment, but he is also a great surfer, so he, he lives on the water to a degree. So that marvelous combination of water and very old landscape and rather quirky trees in the area is just so inbuilt and inbred into him that it is, it makes it just much more interesting than people doing a landscape painting, perhaps in a landscape they don't know. Every little bit of color is right. Every particularly sort of scruffy bit of bush is right. And that is his private world, and this is his private language. And that makes it interesting. When you've got thick paint, every nuance of the change of light from morning to afternoon to evening light with incandescent lights in your house changes the surface of the picture. Shadow is cast or an underpainting, a warm color comes through. And so the pictures are very alive. It's always nice to feel that an artist has the courage to leave a little bit of canvas untouched. And it's just a wonderful technique. It's a great way of, of taking the artist's hand out of the finished image because often paintings you can see brush marks and you can see what the artist was doing. With this technique, particularly with the dragging, which when you drag off, what you are left with is a print, a, a perfect print of what the left-hand side looked like initially. So that very thin paint is, an, is like a, it's a photocopy in a way. But, you know, the stuff that's happened in the ocean, I, I couldn't have painted that by hand if I tried to, but just by the fluke of chance and luck and nature, the paint has formed that way by sticking and then being pulled apart. So it's taking my hand away from the process away and, and making it a more natural. So it's helping me get a more natural looking landscape. So Paul Ryan is not just the boy from the Illawarra. He is somebody who is engaging with the, even in a modest gallery like mine, engaging with, on the one hand, Nicholas Harding, a city person, on the other hand, Frank Arbach, a London person, and then Goya and the German expressionists who we show. The idea, I suppose, is that by not having a busy feel of the whole area covered in paint, the bit that is covered in paint really catches your attention and so you can really focus on that one area and and hopefully that area can be you know delicious and beautiful and and stand out on its own and and be better for having a bit of breathing space around it working hard at it and and uh, I got my first exhibition in the second year of my first solo show in Sydney so I, I knew then that I'd chosen the right you know path for me and I was on my way really Paul is the language of the area. But what is more important is that his, because the language is interesting, it becomes of interest to people who are not in the area. Yeah.